So when would you want to use an interface? Let's take the simple example of you going to eat at a restaurant. So here you are, you're getting ready to go eat at the restaurant and the, the waiter brings you out a menu. Now the menu I want you to think of as an interface. And what, what is an interface? Well, an interface is a contract saying, what are the things that we can do for you? So here at the restaurant, this is an Italian restaurant, they say, well, here we can make you spaghetti and meatballs, we can make you baked ziti, we can make you lasagna, we can make you know, linguine and clam sauce, and, you know, and shrimp and garlic and all kinds of stuff like that. And you determine the one thing I would really like is spaghetti and meatballs. And so what you're using is this contract, you're reading the contract saying, hey, what are the available options, which this menu is, it's the list of available options of what this restaurant over here can produce. And this is the restaurant. And the menu is the interface between you and the restaurant. So the restaurant says, this is, this is what we provide. This is our contract of goods that we can do for you or things we can build. And then what you do is you communicate through this interface here, this menu, and say, hey, I want to, to order this. And so you tell, the, you tell the waiter, hey, I want to order this spaghetti and meatballs. And so this order gets to go over here to the kitchen. And then what they end up doing is they end up making your spaghetti and meatballs. And they you know, end up making it, blah, 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 blah. And here's all the noodles. And it kind of looks like a smiley face now. Anyway, there's your spaghetti and meatballs. And then what ends up happening from there is that gets directly returned back to you and then you get to enjoy it and you are now a happy camper because you are enjoying your spaghetti and meatballs so it's a pretty good thing all right there we go so your spaghetti and meatballs now this is the contract now here's the thing let's assume that this restaurant has many different locations right so this locations you could have another location which is over here uh, maybe it's in a different town, but they're owned by the same company, right? Uh, but when you go to this restaurant, to this chain restaurant, you you realize that, hey, you know what? I really like the spaghetti and meatballs. And so you go to the, the blue one here, which is the same company. They have the same menu. So they bring out you the menu again and say, all right, here's all the things that we have to offer. And these things, of course, are going to be your spaghetti and meatballs and your baked ziti and your linguine and clam sauce and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And of course you say immediately, well, I like the spaghetti and meatballs from this place. Again, it's owned by the same company. So again, you're going to make an order again, say I want the spaghetti and meatballs. The order goes over to here, spaghetti and meatballs. And then what you don't know behind the scenes is, well, this is just the contract. Like you don't care how the spaghetti and meatballs are done. You just want the spaghetti and meatballs. And so what ends up happening is maybe because of the way that the business is built or the software is built, in this instance, when I'm running over here, instead of building and making the spaghetti and meatballs myself, they actually kind of just go over here and say, hey, uh, folks, we need some spaghetti and meatballs. And maybe they've already prepackaged those spaghetti and meatballs before, and they actually have already delivered a box of those spaghetti and meatballs, and the spaghetti and meatballs are already prepackaged and ready to go. And then as you can see here, you know, they got all these little meatballs in here and uh, you're ready to eat them or they're ready to warm them up. And so at this point in time, you again, you've just ordered this, hey, I want spaghetti and meatballs. The restaurants are also adhering to this contract and saying, okay, spaghetti and meatballs came in, cool. If you're at this restaurant, we make it fresh because we're the main restaurant. If you're at our other location, we've already made a bunch and kind of uh, prepackaged it so this location can kind of get it done because we have a special way of making it that only two people know how to do. Um, and so now over at this location, what they do is they come over here and they say, all right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and uh, take some spaghetti meatballs here and we'll go ahead and, and put it on the plate and we're going to warm it up and we're going to do whatever we're going to do to it. And here's the spaghetti meatballs, whatever. And then at that point, we're going to go ahead and once that's done, we're going to go ahead and deliver it back to you. And boom, there you go, right into your stomach. So now you have spaghetti and meatballs over here. The key thing is here from a user perspective, this is the user who is perhaps consuming a library, your code or whatever. This is your interface. Your interface says, hey, here's the things we can do. And then the implementations are these restaurants. These are who implemented the interface. This restaurant A implemented the interface and restaurant B implemented the same interface. They both said, hey, we can both make you spaghetti and meatballs. Now, 
How they do that, you really don't care about. The caller of that, from the interface perspective, doesn't care about it. The caller says, hey, I want spaghetti and meatballs. At the end of the day, you know that you've just been delivered the spaghetti and meatballs that you want. You don't care how it's done. Now, behind the scenes, the implementation could be different. For example, if this is code, this code might call into a completely different module to generate something, while this code might call might generate it itself. It all really depends on how you're, you're doing it. But what it allows you to do from a developer perspective is say, hey, I have this known interface here. And so anyone who interacts with us just needs to pass us an uh, instance of this interface and call this interface. And whoever implements it over here will do whatever they need to do to return back what they want. And so you can have one, you can have multiple different implementations of these over here. You could have, you know, we have two colors here, but you could keep going and there could be all different types of implementations of this interface and they could be all over the place. It could be ones up here, there could be you know, hundreds of different of the implementations, but they all, every single one of them, adhere to the same interface, the same contract. So it doesn't matter if you're ordering spaghetti and meatballs from this location or this location or any of these locations, they all know how to return back to you the spaghetti and meatballs that you want, all done through this interface. Now, if you take this a step further and we can go ahead and kind of clear this thing out. Again, you, see you have yourself over here and now this is, we're going to a futuristic restaurant. And this futuristic restaurant now has just a, a digital ordering pad and you come in here and you get to press on some buttons. So I want you know spaghetti meatballs or baked ziti or, or whatever. This is just an interface too. Think about like a graphical interface. This is an interface that's been implemented. Now it depends on where you're going. You don't really care who's implemented it. You just want to know that you're going to get either your spaghetti and meatballs or you're going to get your, your baked ziti. And you really just don't care where all these different types of things are coming from because to you, you're interacting with whoever agreed to that contract. And then at that point in time, so for example, let's even take this a step further. You could have two different implementations of that interface. So this is gonna be number, uh, number, number one will be up here and number two will be down here. And as you order this item here, right in this little section, so I wanna order this. And at this point in time, you're gonna kind of go down this path right here. Well, cool, that means I'm gonna go ahead and this automatically then uh, says, okay, that's, that's spaghetti meatballs, we're gonna go to this module and generate, you know, whatever we need to generate. And if for whatever reason, you're going down this path over here. Well, all that's just kind of, we have custom code for everything. So everything is just kind of done right here in this whole section. So what that allows you to do, the interface allows you to hide the implementation behind a particular interface. It's a contract. Like This is the things that we can do for you. So anytime you want something to adhere to the same contract, you can do that. And that's exactly what has happened over inside of the examples here. In this case, we're using mammals. So we can have a mammal and it can have a, be a cow, it can be a human or whatever. We know that it walks, it can speak, whatever. But all we know is that with a mammal interface, if I tell a mammal to walk, it will walk. Now I don't care how it walks. Does it walk on four feet, two feet, 12 feet, 15? I don't know, don't care. I just know that it walks. And so when you have an interface, it means that, hey, these are the things we can do. 